Science says that it is uh, statistically impossible, given the amount of time and uh, description given in the scriptures, for Adam and Eve to have created all of the population of the planet Earth since their expulsion from the Garden of Eden, especially when the scriptures use terms like uh, 7,000 years ago, the earth was born. The earth was created in seven days, and the entire population of the planet uh, was due to the uh, posterity of two people, Adam and Eve. Unfortunately, uh, science does not stop to consider variables. They, they tend to protect themselves by poo-pooing everything else and denying the possibilities of, uh, you know, derivatives or, you know, slight um, alternative explanations. For example, 7,000 years is someone's interpretation of how long it's been since Adam and Eve Unfortunately, uh, science also demands that we respect their opinion that uh, the chronological dating from uh, carbon dating requires, demands, absolutely, irrefutably, says that the earth is hundreds of billions of years old and therefore it isn't possible for the garden of eden or any any such origins of mankind they say because they found the fossil remains of cro-magnon and uh, the anthropological uh derivatives, variations of man in their uh, bones, the various shapes, sizes, they've drawn images and they swear on a stack of their own Bibles, Bible being uh, Darwin's theory of ev evolution being their scripture. But if you go back and really read what Darwin said in his theory is, it was actually just a theory and it was a hypothesis. He had no evidence other than his own opinion and his imaginings that man evolved from ape. Here we go. A situation arises that there is facts, there are evidences that say that uh, human beings evolved from these creatures, Neanderthals and Cro-Magnon and so on and so forth. And there are possibilities, even in the Bible. It talks about... Uh, Adam and Eve's children, the descendants of Adam and Eve, especially around the time of Noah, mingling with what uh, scriptures refer to as beasts of the field. And there are um, characters, creatures called Nephilim, and the Nephilim were allegedly fallen angels or whatever you can read into those things whatever you want to but the point is that adam and eve's children ceased to be pure adam and eve's children and these offspring uh went their own way they mingled and mangled the religion that adam taught and created their own variations and of course, when uh, 
anyone, human beings tend to decide to do things their own way and refuse to follow medical advice or whatever the case might be, you end up with, um, well, let's just say offspring that are not healthy. And you see that in you know, there's, there's many, many, many stories of the Appalachian people and, you know, cultures that interbred and you see the, you know, blindness, cataracts, disfigurements, all of these things, impurities. Now, my contention is this, that the descendants of Adam and Eve were perfect in their genetics which kind of accounts for why Methuselah and um, I'm trying to think of uh, Noah's father's name, Enoch, why these people were so old, why they lived to be six, seven, eight hundred years old in very, very good health. And that was because their genetics were perfect. Adam and Eve were perfect. That's why their children didn't have birth defects. There were no recording, uh, no recorded, uh, you know, genetic failures or any kind of natural degradation. It was only after the the mingling of those children with the uh, I would say nature derived evolved beings. I don't know if the vernacular is really there to describe it, or if the <clears throat> the sin that was described of mixing with those uh, creatures, those derivatives of nature, was really a sin as much as a caution. Like, you know, don't, don't put your hand in a fire, it'll blister. Uh, you know, don't poke yourself in the eye with a stick, you'll lose your vision. Those kind of warnings, not necessarily sinful, but kind of stupid. Because you know what happened in the story of Noah. It was because the world was going to hell. They had fallen so far away from God's counsel, his instruction. Um, perhaps this is the real meaning behind why uh, Noah and so few people actually were allowed to continue and found land and began to procreate and reestablish the children of God or the seed. Just something to think about. Continuation of the uh, before God series. Thank you and good night.